Welcome to part two of the MBYLL team app tutorials. In part one we demonstrated the management of access groups and members and in part two it's time to delve into communicating with your members, adding content to your team app. And there are multiple features that can be used to communicate important information to your program's athletes, their coaches and, and supporters. So we'll go over the events button, we'll go over the news button and quickly show you how to set up chat rooms which will allow members to communicate with you and with one another as well. And again, all these features can be found at the top of the page on the desktop version and as buttons on the main screen of your smartphone app. And we'll start with the events, which is essentially your calendar. This is where you can post information, announcements regarding games, practices, any meetings, fundraisers, end of year cookouts perhaps, maybe you're taking your whole program to the Cannons game. Plenty of options for you to put in an event and users can even sync your events to their personal calendar apps but we're gonna stick with the basics right now and just show you how to post the events and to also set up RSVPs. So once you do have a number of events they'll appear in chronological order um, we have none right now so we're gonna go ahead and add one and and this is really where the access groups that we talked about in part one kinda come into play because some events don't apply to everybody and so if, for example, you wanted to have a coaches meeting, an all coaches meeting, and you just wanted to invite coaches and board members, but not parents and players, they don't need to know about it, they don't need to have their team app inbox clogged with this information, um, you can specify that. And you simply type in, you know, which date you want them, you know, which time, maybe 7 o'clock at night, uh, last an hour. Recurring allows you to decide is this a one-time event or is this practice which becomes very useful for um, setting up a routine schedule where every week practice is at the same place, same time, and you don't have to constantly recreate the event. Um, you also have the ability to set up a reminder which is when somebody gets this notification pinged to their smartphone and you can decide do you want to do it an hour before, two hours before, a day before, maybe no reminders. In this particular case, we'll do an hour before. Details, you have to put something, but it can be as long and detailed as you want or as short and simple as all coaches meeting, giving out bags, polos, going over rules. Let people know exactly what you expect out of them. As far as location is concerned, this is a great feature where you type in an address and Google Maps will automatically pull up um, the satellite or the map version of that. So this comes in great handy for away games where you just type in the away fields address and parents can come on and find directions directly to that. Um, the RSVP function allows you to get a response and that's something we'll show you in a moment. If you have a photo you want to attach you certainly may. Featuring an entry just allows it to look a little nicer on the, the events page and a photo is required for that feature. And whether or not you send notifications or potentially an email copy, that's entirely up to you and how you want to communicate with everybody. And so when I click save, that will appear here and and now we're collecting replies. So, you know, yes, I am going to this all coaches meeting. And this demo app only has one other member right now, but when you have 20 coaches in your access group, this right here will allow you to know which ones are coming, which ones don't know, which ones can't make it, and who you haven't heard from yet. And this is very, very useful to you as an organizational tool, and it will come in great handy for games, kind of keeping track of your athletes. Um, all of this in, in one stop, which makes Team App a pretty special, uh, useful organizational tool for coaches and administrators alike. And um, when we look at the events page, as I mentioned, this is where you're going to have a whole list of your events. I'm just going to add one more just to show you. If I were to do a practice, um, maybe do all of the boys, and I'll inform the coaches as well. Put in that your first practice is a Tuesday, 6.30 p.m., Maybe you're going for an hour and a half. You would put this is an every week. It'll allow you to tell us when you're going to stop. Obviously, we're going to be a winter team, so we'll stop on December the 15th. We'll remind everybody two hours before. We'll remind people bring water. Practice is at the upper turf field. 
whatever else you want to put in there. Add the location. Ask for a response if you want. Send notifications if you want. Uh, if I hit save, that will pop up. Another thing that we can show you is is um, town day at the cannons. This one is going to be selected for everybody in your program. This is a one-time event occurring on August 16th. Two hours. No reminder necessary. Tell people that we're tailgating in parking lot 5. I'll show you the location feature. We'll type in Gillette Stadium and when you hit return it will pull directly up on the map and anyone who hasn't been there doesn't know how to get there can come right onto this and, and get directions either on the map or the satellite version very very useful tool no response needed no photo needed don't need to send a notification and so when I save that town day at the cannons the map will pull up the details will pull up and in my events page all of my events are listed in chronological order. So the news feature can be used as your direct information blast to your whole program or again to specific subgroups. It can be as long and detailed as an email is or it can be as quick and poignant as rain delay, game moving to field 4 at 1.30, which if that were an important message you had to get to everyone instantaneously an email really wouldn't suffice but with team app that information gets sent to their phone via an alert instantaneously and can be a game changer when it comes to your communication efforts with your players so again very simple easy user friendly add a new event story and you pick your headline you pick which groups are going to receive this information the body of your story um, if you wanted to attach a photo and feature the article, it just looks very nice on the news feed. The notifications, um, again, you can decide, I don't want to notify people, or I, I do want to send it to them now. And if you're someone like me who does a lot of their work at 2 o'clock in the morning, that's not always the most polite time for someone to get a ping notification on their phone. So you can decide to send it at a specific time. I'm going to send it you know, tomorrow morning at... 9 a.m. instead of tonight at 3.19 in the morning. You also have the option of sending an email copy. Um, so once you send something, and, and let's actually put together something very quickly. How about a uh, uh, Laxtown end of year cookout? Details. And this is where we would list all of our details, dot, dot, dot. I'm selecting everybody to receive this. I want to feature this article, and in order to do so, I have to pull up a picture. And I, I have a great picture of of some of the great barbecue we're going to serve at our cookout. I'm sending this at nine o'clock tomorrow. I hit save, and in the news feed, this is exactly what they're going to get. A nice little picture, and and all of the details here. Of course, we didn't add any. You'll see when it's scheduled for. You'll see that it's. All of the access groups have been included on this, and when you click on your news feed, and eventually you'll have you know 30 news stories. This one will stand out because of of the picture, and that's really what the featured one means. And, and you have the ability to unfeature it if you want, and it just becomes a regular story. Or again, if you feature it, it just kind of looks a little nicer. And that's essentially what the news feed is all about. So finally, the chat function is something that you can set up and allow it to kind of blossom on its own. You can and should create a chat room for parents to connect with one another um, and for parents to um, even ask questions and provide suggestions to you, the town. Uh, you could even have player and coach specific chat rooms. And again, the access groups comes into play here where only coaches can see that chat room and that's not available to all of the public. If they wanted to talk strategy or perhaps there's some sort of a disciplinary action that's needed in your town, um, that's what this chat function is great for. Quick and instantaneous back and forth communication. So you set up a parents chat room and, and maybe, and I'm doing this now, but maybe one of the parents posts on there for, for another parent to, to see where can I buy great cleats. And they would post that, and 
anybody who's potentially subscribing to this chat room could see it and get the notification and say, oh, I know, Hunter's Sporting Goods has great cleats, great prices. And they would go back and forth and, and set up a great dialogue about anything and everything in your program. And so you have one chat room specifically for parents, and this is something that you can create and get started. Maybe you have a Q&A, Relaxed Town Lacrosse. And again, this is for everybody to see, and if someone has a specific question or suggestion for you, uh, this is the place that they do it. As I mentioned, you can set up coaches chat just for Laxtown coaches and Laxtown board members. You save, and potentially you can do one for your booster club. I mean, it's it's limitless. And, and by the way, users can set up their own chat rooms if, if there was something that they wanted to discuss in a new feed. Just something that allows people to interact. Very successful. So those are some of the communication features that will allow you to instantaneously get your information directly to all of your groups of people in your program. It's email, it's instant message, it's texting, it's everything combined into a one-stop shop. And that was the purpose of this tutorial. In part three, we will delve a little bit more into uploading documents and schedules and photos and wrap it up in part four with some more look and feel type qualities to creating a perfect team app for your town. Thanks for watching.